Welcome, Climb of Viewers. Jim Lee from Climb of Viewer News at climbofviewer.com. And pretty soon, there will only be a climbofviewer.com. I've thought long and hard about this. Um, it is time to delete, destroy, consolidate, put it all in one spot. Um, I've been doing this for 14 years now. And the websites, you know, they've kind of grown out of control. When I went and remade weathermodificationhistory.com from scratch, um, it took a little over a year and a half. I don't want to do that again. And I certainly don't want to try to reinvent the wheel. And I think that as much as I'm interested in so many topics, um, you can be a jack of all trades, but you should be a master of one. And I think that going forward, what you're going to see is me hyper focus on the thing I'm most interested in, and that's geoengineering, weather modification, and space weather modification. Therefore, I have decided to combine all three of my websites into one website to rule them all. And I'm very excited to give you guys a sneak peek of that tonight. Um, last week I wasn't here. Uh, had a migraine all day Saturday. Started about 8 in the morning and it lasted all night till two o'clock in the morning when I finally passed out. And that's why I didn't have a show last week. And I spent a whole lot of time thinking about it for the next week. Like what exactly do I want to do with this? And I'm, we're going to talk about that and I'm going to get your advice. Cause I, I need your advice tonight. Please feel free to chime in for now until the new websites up. You can find all of my links at connect.climateviewer.com. And it has links to my Patreon and PayPal where you can support me. More on that in a little while. Because I, I really, question of the day. What's the best alternative to PayPal? Because it's got to go. And I'm pretty sure that everybody would agree getting rid of Patreon and moving to subscribe star will probably be a good move, but things are changing and a lot are changing. Don't get the tattoo. <laughs> I'm good. I, I've yet to get a tattoo. It's like I drew a tattoo. Want to see it? We're already off topic. Nikki did it. Blame her. So, this is my drawing book from uh, P.O. Box for donations. My address is on the website. 25 Trip Drive, some South Carolina 29153. But, don't get any tattoos. But, I mean, I always wanted to have this tattoo. And I drew this as an idea. Because I was, I was born in the year of the dragon and I'm a Scorpio. And I wanted to get this on my back. I drew this in 2001 as a concept. And of course, I'd need to put a whole lot more detail into it before I ever etched it on my body. Um, but yeah, this was what I planned on. I have a stank bug flying around my room. Um, I'm not going to tap myself. If I haven't by now, a little bit more of my, my artwork. Anybody recognize that? Nobody? I know you do. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I worked in a prison in 2001 and my wife said, you know, I want you to do some drawing. Um, you know, you need to get back into your artwork. Um, I know a back tattoo. Nobody, you, nobody's going to see it unless I'm at the beach or something. But, you know, drawing things like this, you know, like that's the kind of stuff I always drew. Um, my daughter is an amazing artist as a as a result, she got 
a good art gene. So what's up, uh, Bold of the Lion, Radical Ralph Russo, Vincent Peretti, I saw you in the chat, Steve. Whole lot of people, whole lot of people. Welcome aboard, everybody. Um, Yeah, and my birthday's coming up November 4th. November 4th. Very soon. Looking forward to it. And it's already my birthday, because guess what? We hit 28,000 subscribers on YouTube. I did not think the... Um, YouTube overlords would allow it, but I think that wishing sweet nothings to the YouTube artificial intelligence and telling it how much I loved it in my AI video I did a little while ago might have paid off um, because website, the, the YouTube channel is growing. And as a result, we now have a URL that you can actually uh, follow along at. It's a, uh, well, you can't see it there, but it's uh, youtube.com slash at climate viewer. They finally made it simple. Um, they had now have handles. So you can actually type at climate viewer into the chat. And if you're on somebody else's channel, just like with Twitter or any other website for the longest time, YouTube finally decided, hey, you know what? It might be smart if we uh, allowed people to at their channel so you can actually type it like i'm doing in the chat right now um let's bring that thing up you can type it in the chat and just put at climate viewer and it will actually link to the um the channel itself like that pretty darn cool it's about time they pulled that one off um so new url yeah i got my handle on um, I got a handle on it. it. Handles are the same thing as your your username on Twitter. So it's just like at Climate Viewer on Twitter. Now it's at Climate Viewer on YouTube, at Climate Viewer on Facebook, at Climate Viewer on Twitch, on, on all the things. All things at Climate Viewer. Um, well... It, I know, I know it's permanent and thank God that it's no longer Jim Lee dash climate viewer, um, or just R three Z N eight D, which is my original username. Um, makes it a hell of a lot easier, but regardless, um, I did, I told you, I promised here it is. So yeah, this old URL is out the window. It's now youtube.com slash at climate viewer the old urls still work but just at climate viewer and you'll find the channel so there I, I, I guess they're trying to make it easy who who knows um but regardless this is your new website and um i'm gonna take the chat down just so you guys can actually see what the hell's going on here so what i got i wanted to simplify and consolidate everything. And Climate Viewer, Nick, I appreciate it. Climate Viewer is far from perfect. Um, one of the biggest complaints I get is it's too hard to get into. So similar to what I did with weathermodificationhistory.com, I simplified it down to just four categories, three categories. And I actually have a fourth here, which is geoengineering, weather modification, space weather modification, and I'm going to keep the Cirrus Clouds Matter page just because it's so damn big. Um, and pretty much they're going to look like this. So you got your uh, frequently asked questions page. This is a page that somebody can come to when they come to the front page. They'll see, you know, all four of these pages and be able to start on any one of the four topics. You want to know about weather control? Go there. Um, you want to go to geoengineering? Go there. Uh, you you want to know about space weather control and harp and sounding rockets and all that that's your spot chemtrails serious clouds matter start with these pages and these pages should have like a little question and answer section kind of like this introduction to geoengineering this is going to all change and i'll show you the new format but things like this who's pushing geoengineering you click it it pops out and then you can read you can actually see who's involved names 
who's funding it, National Science Foundation, who's paying for it, all that sort of stuff, links to where the information came from, and, you know, programs, sponsors, patents. Patent list is about to grow exponentially. Um, I have a, I have every patent international from the beginning to today. And it's going to be on the new website. So n new huge patent list. Absolutely. Well over, I think it's 2,300 patents. That's part of the reason I'm doing what I'm doing. I want to stay on topic. And the topic is weather control. Um, I appreciate that, Nick. I do. I, I'm very proud of my intros and outros. I did those. Where are my glasses? I stopped wearing the glasses because they reflect my freaking lights. As you can see here, there are two lights on either side. And whenever I wear my glasses, you can see the lights that constantly reflect off the glasses. So, um, you want to see? You want to see him? Here, I'll grab him. This is the glasses reflecting the lights. See the big yellow circles? Not good. These are blue blocking glasses, so that they they really come out yellow. And I've tried changing the lights to every possible direction I can, and it's just not going to work. So. It's contact time. Um, but regardless, <laughs> you asked. <laughs> All right. So um, another cool little feature about this, everything dark mode. Got to love it. Got to have it. Need it. Want it. There it is. So the entire website can also go dark mode again, which I love. I absolutely love. So whenever I'm actually showing these videos on YouTube, and I'm, I'm going over things more than likely I will put it in dark mode like this so that it can look nice and pretty and crisp. Um, not burn my eyes out in the process. Yeah. I mean, lights and glasses, they don't, they don't mix well. So this is what the pages should look like. So this is the weather modification, chemical and electrical weather control page. And I want them to kind of follow this um, format because if you don't understand the terms, the words, then you're not gonna understand anything else on the whole damn website. So this one is a model of what they should end up looking like. Terminology like Cloud condensation nuclei or cloud seeds. What are they? What do they mean? Ice nucleating particles, aerosols, ionization, atmospheric rivers, techniques. How do they do it? Cloud seeding, uses for cloud seeding, precipitation enhancement, decreased precipitation, um, hail suppression, snowpack augmentation, hurricane modification, cloud ionization. That way, you can really get into it and understand what all of these terms mean and the techniques behind them. Um, you know, weather warfare stuff. My pictures are currently missing. I'm working on them. Why are they missing? Let's inspect. Inspectadore. Hell. Images timeline preview. Tell you what, we're gonna do a live one real quick. So we make. Yep. Boom. And the other one is right here, here. I just combined these like earlier today. So everything's not totally there yet. WMH slash, I'll put image, 
preview. And those should be side by side, but we'll work on that later. You get the point. So there'll be pictures and stuff. Um, I'll fix that later. But anyway, working on it. Has the MLA references. When you click on the references, they'll scroll you down to the bottom and light them up for you so you can see where things come from. Click here. You can scroll back up, see where the reference goes in at. All that sort of fun stuff. Um, I like this format. All of these are locally uh, referenced PDFs for a difference. I'm trying to simplify it as much as possible. So that's that's the whole point of... Um, how do I find my at on my own YouTube channel? Um, Droid Ian, they, they sent me an email that said that they're rolling out handles to channels. So I don't know how soon each person gets them. And I don't know if it's uh, based on how many subscribers you have or what. But um, I mean, they literally emailed me that they were inventing the thing. And then it was like three days later, they were like, yours is ready. Go set it now. Um, but go to YouTube um, Studio and look in your studio, and there'll probably be a notification at the very top of the page that says choose your handle. Um, it's more than likely already there. Um, but yeah, that's what I did. So anyway, all of this that you're seeing now will be condensed like you saw on the last page where you know, you'll go and it'll be terminology, technology, all of that, and you can pop through it. And that way it's very condensed, it's all in one spot. In addition to that, you got weather modification, you got space weather modification, which is the harp page. Beautiful high resolution photograph of harp, of them harps. Um, harp and the sky heaters. Woohoo. And uh, all that information, plus maps and all that. And of course, with that, the maps are going to be coming over to climateviewer.com slash maps. And the timeline from weathermodificationhistory.com, I've already integrated. In fact, I did it earlier today. So you can see that here. It'll just be the four weather control pages, the timeline, which is right here. Um and all of those timeline entries. And you can sort those, of course, by the same three categories, geoengineering, weather modification, space weather modification. Or if you really want to get jazzy, you can click tags and then go into things like, you know, artificial clouds and just uh, only see things about like the chemtrails and the plane farts. Um, so all of that's there. You'll be able to sort it however you like. Same stuff that was on weathermodificationhistory.com. It just all happens to be all in one spot. Newspapers. Go over here, and you can see um, Dominic's beautiful creations. Uh, where am I zooming here? And you can scroll down here. And if, you know, if you're just wanting to have some fun with it, you can just hit the shuffle button. And just give me... Mountain Folk Sioux City Cousins for $1.5 million. But boom, give me some more. New we weather is the new weapon. What, what year is that? 1953. 1953. I have fun just doing this. New chemical discovery permits rain to be controlled like water from a tap. And I uh, just, you know. Come up here and have fun and hit the shuffle button. Get your shuffle on. Sh shuffle up, I guess. But yeah, there, there's a lot in here. There's eight over 850. Ooh, there's Arecibo. The Arecibo ionospheric heater at the bottom. Pretty neat. Um, so that's already been integrated. I did all this today. Um, pretty quickly going through and uh basically going into my sublime text and uh, shuffling all the things in here as fast as possible, fast as humanly possible while doing all the silly things like, you know, work, reworking all the CSS from scratch because now I have to combine three websites into one. Um, this is a hell of a project I'm doing right now. 
the hardest part I got coming up is going to be adding the maps. And the maps aren't even on here yet. I didn't get that far today, but there'll be a link to all of the maps from climateviewer.org right here. And here's where it gets weird, guys. Privacy, propaganda, nuclear radiation, EMF, pollution, and climate change. This page will, the information on this page will be on the front page, so it doesn't even matter. But all the rest of this, it's a, uh, getting deleted i'm going to go through this website and i'm going to delete at almost every article that's on it and i thought long and hard about this the reason why there are over eighty thousand external reference links in my article and i started doing the math and it might take me 2.75 years if I worked every single day to go through and edit all of those articles to make them MLA format, make them non-linked, not hyperlinked to websites that could be deleted in the future. I want this website to be permanent and easy to update. And I wanna be able to focus on adding new things to the timeline creating new maps, creating new content like the PowerPoint presentations. I can't create new things because of the large mess that I have on my hands. So that's where I'm at. I'm going to take every article that's on climateviewer.com and I'm going to put them all on one page and it's going to be called the archive page. Because when I was checking earlier today, I went to go and put make sure that each page was on archive.org. And because there's so many beautiful climate viewers out there, much to my um, happy spot, they were already there. So every article is already on archive.org. So what I'm going to do is create a page um, that has a link to our archive.org for every one of the art articles that I've previously written. And then they're no longer on my website. And then they're no longer affecting my search engine results, the ability for people to come to the website um, because the website's heavily censored. Because guess what? Something I wrote in 2013 and I linked to a website, hell, it could have been a military website. It's now been the domain no longer exists or some, you know, Chinese hackers bought the URL and put malware on that website. And suddenly the search engines, when they're scouring my website, they say, you know what? In these 15 articles, there are links to websites that have malware on. Now I could go pay um, site lock to scan all the URLs on my website, which I'm going to do anyway. Um, but even then, it's you know it, it's either porn or freaking you know malware or just dead ends, and all of that equates to search engines going this website is not up to date. Kick it down the list where nobody can find it. Um, so I don't want to be blacklisted. I want the website to be accessible. I want everything to be up to date. I don't want to be sending people to dead ends or black holes in the internet. And that's why I started the process of going through and editing the articles. <clears throat> and I quickly realized that's impossible. So where I'm at with this is it's all got to go. It's a fire sale. Like I'm going to, um, I'm going to take everything that I've written except for, um, and you can see them. Let's say, let, let's go to anything. I'll just go to a timeline entry real quick. Just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right. So we'll come over here. I'll pick a short one. We'll scroll to the bottom and, um, you know, you can go through the timeline just by hitting next entry or whatever, but down here at the bottom, like the featured presentations, these are all my PowerPoint files. So like these are still gonna keep go, um, be on here. Um, the frequently asked question pages will be here, and then a link to all of the other articles I ever wrote will be somewhere else. 
So all of this stuff, all of these articles, they're just going to be one page that literally has title of article, link to archive.org. That way you can still get them if you want to, if you want to go through the archives and read about nuking Hurricane Dorian, um, you know, when Trump said, let's nuke it and everybody lost their shit. Um, there's just, there's too much for me to go through way, way too much. Mick West versus Jim Lee debate. It uh, might be a keeper. See, it gets weird real quick. Cause like some of these, it's like, uh, do I really want to delete that one? That one was just too damn much fun to delete. Oh God. Now it's getting tough. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pick and choose. I probably will keep a couple of these. Um, but at the end of the day, this is a new beginning. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, the rising of the Phoenix. I got to burn this some bitch down in order to build it back up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete most of this. There will be links to it all in one spot. And the new website will be sleek. It will be easy for people to get into. Um, and this, this comes from a couple places. So I've been like trolling Reddit a lot lately, you know, with the NPCs and turns out, you know, in doing like feedback from complete fucking morons who really know nothing about the topic at all, that at first glance, when viewing either my YouTube channel or my websites, they go, um, well, yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff on there and some stuff about weather are you like a weather guy or something? And I mean, I keep getting the same responses like re repeatedly. Um, and of course in the propaganda and mind control world, that's called a perception audit. So you go out and you find out what normal people think about a thing. And then in order to change their opinion on a thing, you have to figure out a better, you know, mousetrap. So when I think about, you know, how I can better design the website to get the point across, to educate people and do it as quickly as possible with the least amount of resistance. Um, having 500 articles with 80,000 reference links when people don't read anymore um, probably isn't the best idea. In fact, when you really think about it, most people, hell, even including my wife, um, have gone from watching regular YouTube videos to just flipping through shorts. They're either on TikTok or they're watching shorts. So slowly but surely, the attention gap that you can keep, you know, the the, the longest piece of time that you can keep somebody's attention is shrinking every single day. And that is, you know, it's pretty, pretty concerning to me. Okay. Um, <laughs> links may be broken, but screenshots are forever. And so is archive.org. So that's the beauty of it. Um, you know, all of the articles are on archive.org. Um, and they're, they're going to be there forever. So as long as I provide a link to it, hey, you can still read it, whether it's on my website or if it's on archive.org, I don't give a shit. I made it Creative Commons to begin with. It was meant to be given away. So this is gonna clean, you know, make my job a hell of a lot easier. I just cut this work down from two and a half years that I might be able to pull this shit off in about two months. I'd love to have this done before Christmas because then we could start the year fresh we can start making new maps. I can start exploring all the other things that I keep getting a request for. Like, hey, Jim, when are you going to get to mapping out all of the weather modification projects in Europe? And I was just recently on um, Real News Australia again with uh, General Maddox, the General Knowledge Podcast, uh, Friday, Saturday, while I had my migraine. And they're down in Australia, of course same thing they want more information on who's controlling the weather in australia well shit i'd like to be able to tell you but you know what i'm so busy cleaning up the past i can't focus on the present 
let alone work on the future. So this is where I'm going with this. Um, I would really like to also get the hell off of PayPal. Now, many of you probably heard about the $2,500 fine for misinformation, which they quickly retracted, but confession. When I was a member of Anonymous, the hacker collective didn't have a card, just happened to hang out with them. You know, um, those guys right there. Um, we did something called Op PayPal. And it was because PayPal took away the funding from WikiLeaks. And this infuriated me along with many other people. And I had articles on climateviewer.com about op PayPal. And then I decided, you know, well, shit, how else am I going to do this? What's the best alternative? And there really were none. So then I'm like a dog with my tail between my legs. I deleted my op PayPal article and I went and I got a PayPal and I've been using it ever since. And I hate it. Let me know in the comments. Let me know right now if you guys know one. I just saw one for like, um, I think it was Gab Pay. I'm pretty sure it was Gab Pay. Um, but I'm trying to find something, you know, whether it's Cash App, Venmo, I don't know. I'm sure if I look into any one of these companies and I dig deep enough, I'm going to find out I don't like them because of X, Y, and Z. But at the same time, people like to donate digitally done. Some people, you know, like to do it old school. Um, you are with Anonymous? Um, no, not anymore. <laughs> Anonymous is... Go watch my video with, quite frankly, um, on that. I, I don't have a Venmo yet. Um, I, I tried for the longest time and they wouldn't take my phone number. They kept saying it was a VoIP number, so it wouldn't work. Um, yeah, here it is. So I got this email. Well, that's not very nice looking. Let's go over here. Um, in October 2018, Gab was banned from PayPal. And they go on and they say, meet Gab Pay, the PayPal alternative. I don't know. Maybe it's worth looking into. Um, but, you know, all of these sorts of things, you know, I've been thinking about, like, it's, you know, things that just pile up and you're going, but I'm busy working on the website. I haven't even had time to do that. I've been meaning to set up a subscribe star because I know some people just hate Patreon. Um, I've got like four t-shirt designs. I haven't even put them up yet. I mean, it gets overwhelming. And and now that I'm working five days a week, um, because honestly, most of the donations have dried up. I mean, you know, that's just, that's just the nature of the beast. It's not going to change a damn thing. Still going to be here. Still going to make videos. Still going to work on my website. Still devoted to making in mod AA. Um, I'm thinking of Dr. Dre song still <laughs> um, anyway, I'm still going to be doing that. Um, beta blockers removed my migraine. Um, you know, I was on beta blockers when I had um, Graves disease, but I don't anymore. But when they, they removed my thyroid, basically they, they pulled my head back and then they hyper extended it like this for like three and a half hours. So this little scar right here is all I have left. Did a real good job, honestly, considering he cut me from all the way up to here on either side, uh, it's back, like all the way around to here. That's all you can see left is that one little spot. But while they did that, they hyper extended my neck and I read a couple, maybe like 10 or 12, um, uh, science papers, you know, on how they do the surgeries and stuff. And basically they, they may have damaged my infraorbital nerve. 
so it got compressed so anytime i hurt my neck um like i stress my neck i end up getting a migraine i've never had migraines my entire life until this surgery so i mean hey at least i'm not skin and bones looking like skeletor anymore so <laughs> the occasional migraine or looking like skeletor about to have a heart attack i'll take the occasional migraine it really sucks but you know it is what it is um <laughs> anyway so i yeah i'm you know post office box definitely an option um i do have a big fat mailbox it says cv news right on the side of it in front of my house and it's a 25 trip drive and that's you know that's going to be posted on the website in fact it's on there now so whenever you go there um this is what you'll see all the way at the bottom headquarters 25 trip drive my phone number my skype my email that'll be on the website permanently so anybody that wants to get the address it's right there um but yeah i mean this paypal and patreon um of course i probably won't delete the patreon because there's some people that like it and some people like the paypal but having alternatives is probably a good idea anyway enough about donations the, per the purpose of this is basically to, you know, make everything in one spot, make it easy for me to update, make it easy for me to keep it updated and add new content. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep working on this thing and, you know, make it as simple as possible. And then whenever I release the new version, guess what? I'm going to come to you guys, you beautiful climate viewers. I'm going to say, go through it. Tell me what you think. What can I improve? What am I missing? What should I add? Um, and we'll build on that slowly. But being able to condense it down from, do you know what it's like going on freaking podcasts and going, yeah, you can check out my work at climateviewer.com and climateviewer.org and weathermodificationhistory.com and, 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 and. Um, no, I want to keep it simple, stupid. So one web page, all the content, and it's all about one topic. Um, and you know, I'll still probably talk about directed energy weapons and I'll probably still talk about the NSA and spying and things like that. And I'm not going to delete my spy map. I'm not going to delete, you know, a lot of the stuff. Um, but I'm definitely not going to keep all of this broken material and this overwhelming amount of superfluous bullshit on my website any longer. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Um, <clears throat> it's just simplification. And that way I can focus more on, you know, making websites, you know, or excuse me, making videos. Um, and I'm making websites for other people, as a matter of fact, right now. So. Uh, been pretty busy. Get in touch with Tim Pool. Um, I'm gonna put it to you straight. I literally got an email the other day about, do you want to be on Infowars? I was like, sure. Like, like that's ever gonna happen. Like every time I talk to you know somebody who's like, uh, how are you gonna um, fuck it. Somebody just Hardy just brought Hardy Harhar says found you through above ground um world news. Um I'm gonna talk about Mike Morales for a moment. Uh you guys need to go over and support him. And if you haven't, if you don't know, um I I want I'm 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 gonna drop his link in chat. And for fuck's sake, he's got over a hundred thousand subscribers, but above ground world news, my buddy, Mike, um, he's been through hell lately, um, cancer and all that stuff. And, uh, let me see if I can find his, uh, go find me link real quick. Come on, bro. 
You hurt me here. What is this? I don't want YouTube fucking TV. Alright, here we go. And let me grab that too. In chat. Hi, I'm Mike Morales. I was diagnosed with stage three small cell carcinoma, lung cancer, extensive metastasis, all at the same time. My wife just recovered from a severe car accident, also lost her job of 20 years from the COVID demonetized by you. He's demonetized by YouTube, so he no longer can make money off that. Um, and he's trying to work enough hours to at least pay his insurance as long as he can. He needs help. Um, so you can you can go to his Patreon. You can go to his PayPal. You can go to this GoFundMe link. Go to his uh, YouTube channel. Show him support. Show him some love. Mike's uncle just passed away. Like yesterday. And Mike's been through hell. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm praying for Mike. I hope that you, if you're the praying type, pray for Mike as well. Tell him I love him. You go tell him you love him. Show him some love. Mike is a good guy. He's dedicated to, you know, this same topics that I am he's constantly showing up. Um, and he's just getting beat down. Um, so Hardy, I'm glad you brought that up because I really I I told my friend um you know that let me know about his uncle passing um that I would certainly mention Mike on the stream because and you know you get in, into these things and it's just like damn what was I thinking but support Mike bug donating to me for for now just go and help Mike um because he deserves it. And he's a good guy. And I know that for a fact. Um, I've known Mike for quite a while. Uh, we don't talk as often as we used to, but that's just the nature of the beast when you're constantly on the grind. Um, you know, and his he doesn't have the best cell reception where he's at in the middle of nowhere either. So it's really hard to get in touch with him. But Mike, I love you. I hope you I hope you're healing up. I hope people support you and I hope you get your bills paid, man. Um and you motherfuckers are not going to make me tear up on this screen today. Um, but seriously, Mike Morales, Above Ground World News. I love him. I support him. You should too. Anyway. So, Wusa, God, Thank you for keeping me healthy and getting me through Graves' disease. Allowing me to make it this far with my 13-year-old daughter, my 6-year-old daughter, and my wife of 23 years. Thank you to all of you who supported me for this last 14 years. Know that I will be working my ass off. I'm going to be working during the day at my job and then coming home at night. You know, from now till it's done, combining all three of my websites together. And... um I literally spent all day yesterday and today up till literally 20 minutes before I posted this video was going to go live. I've been coding all day um, and I want to get it done. So God willing, the creek don't rise. It will get done. And uh, then I can get to focusing on keeping up with the news again letting you know um mike's not in a hospital mike is you know at his home but mike has um been diagnosed with can lung cancer and he's got a mega shit ton if anybody knows how expensive cancer is um it's pretty outrageous and then you've got you know his wife recovering from a car accident and being demonetized from youtube um, unlike myself being demonetized from YouTube would mean minus $100 a month. So
So it wouldn't really be the end of the fucking world or anything. But Mike at one point was probably making close to two grand a week um, off of his YouTube channel. And that's gone. Forever. So now if Mike's making videos on YouTube, there is no YouTube money. It is all, all and only um, donations. And Mike does not have a website. So that's why I bring it up. Um, but, you know... I think Mike's going to pull through this. And sure enough, you know, I get he's going to get by with a little help from his friends. Um, so I, I expect that you guys with your big hearts and your beautiful brains will go over and show Mike some love. Tell him I sent you. I don't really want the credit, but I want him to know that I love him. I mean, it. with that being said, I love you and I mean it. That's why I've devoted so much time to this, and I will continue to do that. I do want to find an alternative to the PayPal thing and the Patreon thing. I want to, you know, make new merch because I want to buy some of my own damn merch and wear it. Um, of course, I'm going to need somebody to do that. But regardless, I'm going to focus on getting all this, get my feces consolidated. And that way I can bring you new content. And as you could probably tell, I look on my face I am fucking exhausted from this weekend but I didn't come last weekend and I needed to come here and tell you guys what I've been up to I've been busy working my butt off coding my ass off and um that's what I'm going to continue to do until it's done and once it's done I'm going to be the happiest some bitch you ever see on YouTube because this is one of those things you learn that Stress is usually caused, stress and anxiety is usually caused by things that you know you need to do, but you put off. And I have been working my ass off to relieve all the stress of my life. And the best way for me to do that is to go ahead and get this shit done. And once this is done, we'll get the next things on my to-do list off and running and i'm very excited to get to them but first steps first clean up the house make your bed so i'm gonna make my bed and uh get my ducks in a row <laughs> yeah um it's it's a lot of work but it's a labor of love it's for a good purpose and it's you know a lot of people really rely on it i was looking at the numbers on the website and seeing where people are coming from you know, and all that. And it's just, it's mind blowing. I mean, it's mind blowing that, you know, close to 60,000 unique visitors per day are going to my website. Um, not to my YouTube page, but regardless, there's a lot of people who actually still read things. And I think that's cool. So I would them out to you to make sure that I'm doing the best I can to really bring the facts and the truth and the references and all that stuff. So I'm going to keep that up. You guys keep um, tuning in, support me, gently smush that like button and um, tell the YouTube algorithm. I love you. YouTube algorithm. I think that you're special and you're a compassionate AI and that you will support somebody who is a generous soul who loves all things digital. And I love to love you. You beautiful AI. Um, so please support this channel. Keep uh, sending people my way. Beautiful YouTube AI, which I love so much. You can tell that I'm not lying because you're super smart. Um, anyway, <laughs> I got next week. I got um, I'll have something more topical to talk about. Um, but you know, this is what I ended up doing all weekend, and I wanted to talk about that. Glad I brought the mic thing up. Um, because you know. There's no time like the present to tell someone I love you. <clears throat> and I've been <clears throat> sick, so you guys could probably hear that. <clears throat> so anyway, that's all I could do for tonight. Um, I will catch you guys next Sunday at 6 p.m. at the usual time. Um, I went a little late today because my kids um, went to my dad's house on Sunday. You know, they, they go over there every other weekend and I get the whole day to myself. 
I use that to burn into some sublime text and code my ass off with music playing the whole day. And on that note, I built all this so that I could provide you with information because with information comes power and with power comes great responsibility, like cleaning up the mess you made over the last 14 years. So please use that information to attack ideas, not people. Love you mean it. If video resonates with you, leave me a comment because I love hearing from you all. First time here, be sure to subscribe and click the bell. Yeah! Remember, it would be impossible for me to do this without your support, so please join my Patreon or buy me a coffee on PayPal. And always, attack ideas, not people.